Mastercam for SOLIDWORKS has several methods which allow the user to select the geometry to be machined from a solid model. First, I'll select the Mastercam tab, then the down arrow below the 2D toolpaths, then select Contour. The Chain Manager window will open to the Selection tab. If I want to machine this slot, I can select the edges like so. When selecting edges, it's important to select them near the end you would like the tool to start from. Since I selected this edge near this end of the part, when I select it the opposite edge, I must be careful to select it from the other end. If I do not, the cutter will cut on the wrong side of the part for one of the two edges. Now that I've selected two edges, I can see them here in the selection window. And I should verify they are selected correctly. To do so, I'll select the chain tab. Select chain 1. The green arrow shows me where the tool will start and the red arrow shows the end of the cut. With chain 1 selected, I'll scroll down in the window a bit. This button will allow me to switch which chain I have selected. This one will move the selected chain up or down in the list. Here, I have the option to change the side of the geometry on which the cutter will cut. Notice how when I select the button, the small green arrow flips sides. The direction this arrow points is the side of the geometry the cutter will pass along. I'll make sure it's pointing towards the center of the slot for both chains. The next button will delete the selected chain. The question mark will allow me to analyze and look for errors. I'll close this window. This button will change the direction of the cut and this will allow me to rename the chain. Which is wise when there are a lot of chains so I can quickly find a chain when I need to alter the toolpath later. I'll press the escape key to exit this and not change the name. These options allow me to alter the start and end points of the chain. I'll switch back to the selection. Right click in the selection window and clear my selections. Currently I am not filtering my selection and I know this because the no filters button is to press. On the left side of the screen I can set up filters to make the selection of geometry easier. Selecting a filter will pop up a warning in yellow that a filter is active. This filter will allow me to select only part faces. This filter will allow the selection of surfaces. This one will allow the selection of entire parts. This one will allow the selection of SOLIDWORKS features. This one will allow the selection of SOLIDWORKS sketches. This one is for selecting points. And one is for like selecting a single edge only. And this will turn off all of the filters. I'll right click and clear my selections again. I'll select this edge. Scroll down and currently no propagation of the edge is selected. If I change this to propagate along the tool plane then the face will be selected. On my surface I'll select this edge, then switch to Propagate Along Tangent Edges to see the difference. There are more complex chaining options, but for this introductory course we'll not discuss them.